Here's your situation. Your furnace stops working. You go down, maybe the fan's running, but there's no heat. So you look in the little window on the fan cover and it blinks you a pressure switch code. So, like a lot of folks, uh, either uh, DIYers or uh, some, unfortunately, some service techs, immediately decide the pressure switch has failed and replace the pressure switch. And of course it continues to do the same thing it did before. Okay, now we're going to actually start troubleshooting. Why did it do that? Now, I'm going to link you to a few other videos that will tell different reasons. But this one here is about the venting. This is venting here. This is actually the vent. This is a combustion air inlet. If your pressure switch shuts the furnace down, will not let it start, there's a good chance there's a problem in this venting. Because if this is blocked, either one of these is blocked, the furnace will not ignite. It's not supposed to. So let's see if we can find a problem in this venting. Number one, you're going to want to pull this combustion air inlet. You can tell it's combustion air inlet because it goes to the burner cover. This inlet here, if there's any blockages in this thing, it's not going to let it start. Now you should be able to remove this here. If inst the install instructions were followed correctly, most manufacturers want you to uh, want some uh, silicone sealer on that. Same thing with the other one. If they have glued it, that's another problem. You're not going to be able to take it apart easily. So what I would suggest at that point is cut the pipe. Now when you cut this pipe, you're going to have to put it back together again and you can use a no-hub coupler. They're legal, they're okay, and they work beautifully. Then you can take it off anytime you need to. Okay, so let's say I have to cut this right there. I'm going to look down inside, and I'm not going to cut this. This is my furnace in my basement. I ain't going to cut it up. I'm going to lift this off and see if any crap is in here that has maybe come through the pipe. Could be leaves, uh, could be a mouse decided they were going to come in there and live and dumped a bunch of crap down there. And there's a screen underneath here, and you can look in there and see if there's a problem. Same thing here on the venting pipe. Uh, you can pull that out and do the same thing. The next thing you're going to look at when you're trying to troubleshoot this is do the pipe sag any place? Is there any low spots in the pipe? Let's take a look at some of the other piping here. Okay, looking at the horizontal length of the venting, this is where we start running into the issues where there may be some sag in the line. Now this is a really short piece so it's not going to have any sags but you can all, always check it with a level. So I'm going to put this level on here and I look at this and it's about a quarter inch to the foot. Now that means it is going down towards the furnace so any water that's in this thing is going to go back to the furnace. That's what you want it to do. Okay, that's on the combustion air inlet and that it's about the same, maybe a little more, on the venting. Now it's normal for the venting to have water in it because the combustion of gas, one of the byproducts, is water. It's not so normal here, but it does get water in it every once in a while. We're looking at that piping and we're looking to see if there's any sags. A lot of times there will be a long run and the supports aren't close enough, so you'll have a low spot. It doesn't take very much. Just a little bit of a low spot will do this. If I get a little bit of water in a low spot, it'll start making waves in there as the air goes through and it will shut the pressure switch down. It doesn't take much. So, you're looking for sags, good support all along. The last thing we're going to look at is the termination. Now we're outside, and here's the termination. The straight pipe is the vent. You're going to be looking for snow, ice, crystals, garbage, 
somewhere in that pipe. Same thing to the angled pipe here, that is a combustion air inlet. Is there a screen on it? If you must use a screen in it, it has to be, have at least half inch holes. Very simple, looking in there like that. Is there anything in there? Shine a flashlight down the silly thing to see as far as you can in there. And remember one last thing. If birds get into it, and they usually won't go into something low on the ground like this, but if it's eight feet up, they will. They will end up all the way usually to the inducer connection or the combustion air inlet at the furnace. They'll go all the way through the pipe and then they can't get back out. Anyway, if you check all this stuff out, there's a good chance you're gonna find out where the problem lies when you have a pressure switch coat. That's it on this one.